Hey guys, what's up? Here is Fabio Gallo for the podcast number one. Today is the 1st November 2019 and we are going to talk about how you can success uh, on your Facebook marketing. So online marketing is not just about, you know, amplification of messages, but it's also about connection, right? So the recommendation number one that I would say is don't simply treat Facebook as a broadcast medium. Um, you know, while you can treat Facebook as a broadcast channel to achieve, you know, the best return, you also need to create and share, and share relevant content. And this content basically has the objective to make users interact with you, right? So uh, the, first, the first really best practice is to review uh, sector use of Facebook uh, by brands in your market. So to help set realistic expectation amongst clients, it's useful to sample Facebook pages in your sector, right? So let's analyze what other brands are doing with their Facebook pages. And it's important to ask, assess the potential and set realistic goals, right? When, you, when you're setting the objectives for using Facebook, especially in a B2B marketing channel. So the question that you, you, should, you should ask yourself is, why do people should follow my brand on Facebook? Are they following the my brand because they are looking for promotion and discount because they want to get the latest product information or because you know they want to have a method of customer service they want to engage and have an entertainment content or just because they want to you know be be able to offer feedback. The recommendation number one is to define the value you can offer in Facebook that fits your brand. So many researches show that many Facebook users are looking for value. So value is the real most important thing that users are looking on Facebook. They are not looking to buy a product. They are not looking, you know, to, um, to get a service on Facebook. They are really looking for value. So to maximize uh, followers growth, you have to go beyond content curation and really offer a unique value to Facebook, which isn't available in other channels, such as you know events, exclusive content that cannot find anywhere else, or you know having some strategy around interaction. So those are uh, really strong, strong values for the user. The tips number three is really to invest in tools to help reduce time in profile management. A modest outlaying social network management tools will save you a lot of time, guys. While more sophisticated community building tools really can help you engage your audience and run promotional campaign across different networks in a very tiny time. So that's that's absolutely true that, you know, there are many software or services to post and scheduling and tracking the response to social media updates across multiple platforms is now is now possible. Uh, so Sprout Social is an excellent example of such tools and you can get a month's free trial to experiment with that it has to offer. So the key function of the social network management tools include the capability to use this across the different social networks. So uh, you can post the same status update to multiple channels at the same time, for instance. You can reply to comments and questions for delivering customer service and pre-sales support. You can track uh, and reporting on sharing and click through from these updates. You can also review updates from publishing and other influencers, or you can review comments from name competitor or hashtag topics. So why should we be using Facebook, right? Why are the, what are the benefits from a business pr- perspective to use uh, Facebook? Um, so the first thing is your brand tra- treat your ta- you treat your brand basically as 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 a trust presence to gain reach and growth brand awareness to achieve customer engagement and, and two way communication you know you, you you need to talk to your cost- customers or to potential customer in in engagement in engaging way you need to make a brand more accessible and personal so personalization of the message is another very important uh, element uh, to foster customer to customer the, the, the famous word of month engagement um, for the potential of viral sharing of content so with 
the, the potentially you can create a content that could be viral and then friends can start to you know connect with other friends and show to other people to create user generator content such as comment or image posts to have access to immediate feedback to develop your brand personality communicate promotion or contents and events uh, to drive traffic to website content or to access a target advertisement platforms so uh, this is my my real tip number number three and um, the tip number four that I want to talk to you today is outline a Facebook communication strategy so the communication strategy for Facebook should online the types of content you will share the frequency and of course the most important thing is you what you're looking to achieve with this communication strategy thinking about who your target audience is a good a good place to start when considering you know content type time of posting or a uh, ton of posts right and the strategy recommendation number five is also to invest in a communication plan to drive people to your page so profile your Facebook page in all your communications such as website, newsletter, email, uh, and print ads. Considering investing in Facebook advertisement to drive new visitors to your page. I really recommend to go beyond the organic, the organic posting on Facebook. Uh, as you can see, the algorithm of Facebook has been changed. Now it's very extremely difficult to uh, reach uh, a lot of people on Facebook with the organic posting. So recommendation number one is to start to use advertisement. You can really, you can really be, uh, you can really have a lot of beneficial to that. Uh, the cost of advertisement on Facebook is really low. You can get a lot of, you know, um, you can reach a lot of objectives with that. And, and, and there are many companies and agencies that they can do that for you if you don't have the, cap the internal capability in, in your companies uh, I'm, I'm also working with a specific company with that it's called ROI target and I really suggest you to, to look at it the tips number six is to set goals for online brand metrics and review them so analytics guys is extremely important and social listening tools uh, can report on measures such as brand share voice and sentiment popularity that can be clearly positive or negative compared to a set of uh, competitors. So extremely important, especially if you are in a B2B business, to understand uh, you know, what are the, 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 the share of voice and sentiment polarity in there. And the tips number seven for today is on when you're using clearly your marketing strategy on Facebook is resourcing your page to keep it active so ensure there is always a defined person who will post quality content from your site and other site onto your facebook page and follow up with relevant comments and links ideally this this needs to happen daily or several times a week so my strong suggestion is to post at least one uh, post per day if you if you don't do that uh, then you could have you know some uh, bad negative effect so treat your page as you're you know putting a lot of content and and make sure that a user engage with that the tips number eight for today is use google analytics to show value of facebook marketing so many companies still don't use google analytics or maybe they have implemented google analytics but they don't know how to use it so the social reports go beyond last click sales reporting to show you the assist where social media encourages visits which don't immediately cause a lead or sale but potentially influence it since a later visit or from another channel directly leads to sales. So extremely important to track all the key metrics that are important for you and if you are reviewing Google traffic reports you can probably note the mobile Facebook referrals are form a separate domain so uh, are shown separately this is another another thing that you need to take care of one thing is to you know uh, track the metrics on 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 website and the other thing is draft the metric on mobile as you can see mobile is still 
uh, started to get a lot of uh, more um, important compared to what is a website now. The recommendation number nine for today is use a blog as platform to share content to Facebook and drive visits. So posting a link to a blog post is a great way of driving traffic to your website. It will also really help your uh, search engine optimization. I would suggest that occasionally you link to other relevant websites. But doing, you know, by doing this, your Facebook page becomes a hub of where to go for relevant links of your industry. Um, if you don't have an existing blog or, um, and want a low-cost, low-maintenance way of setting up a blog to share images, consider it Tumblr. This is a simple to set up and you know, uh, post to, to then some of the better established blogging system like WordPress. So the strategy recommendation number 10 on your Facebook marketing is to maximize awareness of Facebook for integration. So integration is another strategic recommendation and considering option to feature Facebook on your site, blog, social networks, and email marketing. Demonstrate the benefits for you know, prospect, customer to visit Facebook and become follower. I recommend you consider your integration option for Facebook in these four main areas. Number one, website, blog, and online store, clearly. Number two is other social networks. Number three, email marketing. Guys, email marketing is still the number one. <laughs> I for many companies and many people are telling you that uh, email marketing is shrinking. It's probably true. The, clearly, the open rate uh, are, are decreasing, but it's still extremely important. And number four, uh, number four, sorry, is offline integration. So the uh, try to use this across promotion on social network to increase followers. So share your Facebook page and individual posts into other social networks. Uh, clearly, don't overdo it. Uh, it generally makes more sense to drive a visitor to your blog or your site, but in some specific case, you can still you can still have effect if you um, if you post it on other on other place. And finally, the strategic recommendation number eleven for today podcast on your Facebook marketing strategy is to set expectation for the search engine optimization impact on Facebook. So the impact of Facebook on SEO is limited compared to the SEO activity on your website and traditional PR and influencer outreach. So don't expect Facebook or any other social network to transform your search engine optimization. Black links, black, black links from other sites are, are really important ranking factors with you know the search engine and ideally will be relevant links from authoritative popular the more popular let's say uh, website and contain hyperlink and short text from a relevant page to inform the search engine uh, what your page is about so facebook like other social networks uh, use no follow tags on the links on their pages to data spammers however Mm, which means that no direct search benefit occurs from posting links to Facebook. So that's my tips number number 11 for this podcast. I hope you enjoy uh, my recommendation for today. And if you do so, please share this podcast with everyone you think could be interesting. Uh, and uh, we'll talk very, very soon. Bye-bye.